So recently there's been a lot of rumors popping up about Nvidia going to announce their new graphics architectures. And that's right, I say architectures because apparently there's gonna be one dedicated towards cryptocurrency miners named Turing, and there's gonna be another dedicated towards gaming graphics cards, Ampere. So today we're gonna to talk about both these architectures and we'll start with Turing, who's named after a famous mathematician, Alan Turing. And what I believe you'll get with these mining cards is something that'll be 12 nanometer based. And they'll be based similar to Volta, but of course, a lot of the features will be scaled down. And these will be dedicated towards things like Ethereum mining and also Zen and Zcash mining with Sol based uh, hashing. So what you can expect here is something that'll have display port reduction and also be highly optimized for mining itself very efficient and in that it will have to be more efficient than the current gaming graphics cards otherwise miners quite simply won't want to buy them however if they are going to 12 nanometer from 16 nanometer this will make them more efficient just from the fabrication process itself and not only that if they can do tweaks via driver level and hardware level then you could indeed see massive demand from the mining segment for these new graphics cards. However, keep in mind, before we go on with this video, I will say everything is just my opinion and rumors that are floating out there at the moment. Nothing is really set in stone, but apparently both these architectures will be announced sometime in late March or even mid-April. Anyway, Turing looks like it will be a solution for miners and certainly there will be increased pressure from the market itself, not just from angry gamers who want to buy a graphics card, but also from the industry itself. Think about this. If companies like Corsair, Fractal Design, Intel, AMD can't sell their components, especially when it comes to a CPU, for example, then there's going to be pressure from those guys to Nvidia to say, hey, get some graphics cards out for gamers so we can sell all the rest of the components involved in building a PC. So don't worry, guys, when I say this, this shortage of gaming graphics cards won't be for very long. There will be pressure from the whole market itself to get gamers graphics cards and so the solution they've got here i believe is going to be ampere and it won't be your typical massive performance increase that we're used to seeing i believe what we'll get with the 20 series or 11 series it depends on what they're going to name it i believe we'll get something that's 14 nanometer based and my evidence or what my thinking spans from is the fact that we've already got the Quadro P1000. And it's something that no one's really talked about yet. And it was something that I noticed personally when I was tinkering with a mini ITX PC. I noticed that this graphics card, the Quadro, had the same amount of CUDA cores as a GTX 1050, yet the biggest key difference was that it was 14 nanometer based over 16 nanometer, which is your current 10 series Pascal cards. So the 14 nanometer card was more power efficient too. So this made it a perfect candidate, or it will make it a perfect candidate, coupled with GDDR6 memory for the upcoming gaming graphics cards from Nvidia. Now keep in mind, this is all speculation from me, but I honestly don't think we're gonna see huge performance gains where we got rumors circulating that a 2070, for example, will beat a 1080 Ti. I just don't think you'll see that. But what I think you'll see is say a good 10% increase, but also the fact that gamers can now buy something specific that's had features disabled at both the software and hardware level so miners can't go out and buy this graphics card and use it for mining. So this seems like the most logical approach if I had to look at it from a business perspective from Nvidia but also from the whole market itself. How can you make a win-win-win? This is how I believe Nvidia could do it. Now of course there's going to be gamers out there who are like well I bought my GTX 1080 nearly two years ago I want to upgrade. And of course, Nvidia will service that market, just you won't get your typical 30, 35% increase that you're used to back in the past. And another big reason for this, in my opinion, is the competition from AMD, or should I say, lack of competition. Gamers were waiting for Vega for a very long time, and when it hit the market later than expected, it still couldn't compete with Nvidia's top dog. That was the GTX 1080 Ti. So now there's really no pressure from Nvidia to deliver massive performance gains. And as a matter of fact, and no, this is not just a rumor, if Nvidia, and you've seen this in the past with Intel, if their technology is too far ahead of the competitors, then they will be fine for anti-competitive practices. So I don't think Nvidia is in a spot to really deliver 
something that'll just kick the pants out of their current 10th series. The pressure's not there from AMD, but we've also seen evidence of a 14 nanometer card already out in the wild with the P1000. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below what you think is going to happen in the next few months or even later in 2018. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. And before I get on out of here, I will say take everything in this video with a grain of salt. It's just me doing my research and then presenting a video to you guys. I don't have any inside information. I don't know anything that will happen in 2018 as concrete. It's just how I've looked at the market and made sort of like a logical based decision on what's most likely to happen. Anyway, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.